What's up everyone, Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today I'm gonna to talk about the truth of Black Series and why we dropped them. This is another Thursday campfire rant and today I wanna to talk a little bit about Black Series. I don't know if you know the brand, if you've been watching us for a long time, you do know the brand. Uh, I've been very hesitant about talking a lot about this because there's a lot of sensitive details. So I'm not gonna talk about a lot of it, but at first everybody was wondering, did you drop Black Series? Are you dropping Black Series? And people have been asking why? And we never have really made anything public, but it's pretty obvious that we don't carry Black Series anymore. We don't advertise them. We once had hundreds of videos on them and we've removed all of that content. And I'm not gonna get into a lot of the details, but I do wanna mention one thing that's really, really important. Because a lot of people were really frustrated with us because we really pushed the brand when they first came to the US. Now, a little bit about the history of Black Series is it started from Australia. It was an Australian company. And then there's a man from China that went in and I, uh, this is the story that I know of and had been told by not just Black Series themselves, but other people. But this man kind of purchased rights, supposedly the story goes, to carry or start building Black Series in China, right? So he moved production into China and then he moved it into the US. And that's kind of where we synced up. At first, we reached out to them and at first we actually reached out to a bunch of Australian companies. This is like five years ago. We reached out to Patriots and Brooders and all of these really cool Kedrins. I've watched tons of the videos about the, I think they're the Gal Boys or whatever, super cool stuff. Anyway, we were reaching out and everybody was just like logistically coming out to the US is really hard, it's really expensive, we're not really interested in it. And finally we happened upon this company called Black Series and they're like, yeah, we're Australian built, designed, everything. And we're like, great. So they brought a trailer out to us. We kind of like, we're like, this is amazing. This was 2018, 2017, 2018, it's a while ago. We're one of the first dealers. They sign, we sign up because we saw the trailer in person. And we're like, this is amazing. This was once again, like I said, 17, 18 model. And the first year or two, they were really actually pretty good. They had their problems. Everything has its problems, but the quality was very good compared to anything on the market. There was nothing in the US like this at the time. And we were carrying high-end motor coaches. So we got pretty excited about it and we jumped on the bandwagon, right? We became their number one dealer. At one point we were selling 80% of everything they made, like hundreds of these in the first couple years of selling them. But then, Unfortunately, when I met with the owner, I was really concerned when I found out that it was made in China and lots of the people on the forums were saying these are cheap. I was like, I've seen these in person and they aren't, right? So I didn't understand why people were saying that. And I just think there was a stigma of it's China, China, China. And I'm like, lots of things are made in China. And as long as the quality is overseen, there's nothing wrong with that. So I started kind of combating and saying, no, I've, I, we have these in person in our showroom. They're actually really nice. And for the first couple of years, they were really nice. And we started selling a lot of them. And the owner from China, he told me he would never compromise on the quality. He said he was going to build the next Airstream. And as time went on, as time progressed, the reality didn't follow through with that. We started seeing a lot of quality issues as they started ramping up and building more of them. As COVID started, oh my goodness, things got out of control. And when I say out of control, I, I could make this a multi-hour rant about talking about all the problems and issues we had with the trailers. And so I'm just gonna table, put that aside, and say we ended up deciding we can no longer support this brand because of the quality. And it was really hard for us because we were staffed to deliver over 500 the year we decided to cut ties. There's, there's enough things for us to say, you know, we can't continue promoting this brand until, you know, we get over this hurdle of fulfilling everything and, and seeing where they're, where they're headed. Yeah. And it was the beginning of the year and we had a lot of people here ready to deliver a lot of trailers and we just said we can't anymore. And we just said no matter the amount of money we can make and sell a lot of these trailers, we can't support the brand moving forward because of the quality issues. Now the people that had previously bought from us were really mad, some of them, not all of them. Some of them said, hey, this is great what you're doing because you're trying to stand behind quality. Others were like, wow, you betrayed us. You said these were good and they're not. And I was always like, no, they were good. Now they're not. So long story short, 
we had some people get really frustrated and say, you're no longer going to support us. You're picking up brands and dropping them and you're not going to support the, your, your customers anymore, which are our roamers. And that is not true. If you've been watching and following us, we do roamer adventures and roamer rallies. If you check out our latest roamer adventure down in Moab, if, like 80 or 90% of all the roamers that came in were black series owners. And even though we don't carry the brand and I don't support it and I don't, I don't, I have a, one of the reasons why I don't want to talk about it is because I don't want too much marketing out there about it because I don't want people to go and buy it because I don't want anybody to have something that potentially is unsafe or could really hurt them. And safety to me is number one. And so I don't want to put anybody in a bad situation. I just try to not even talk too much about them, especially on videos. So long story short, I saw all these old Black Series owners and 80% of the people coming to our adventures are Black Series owners. And, and so we said to everybody, we may be dropping the manufacturer and the brand because it doesn't hold up to the standards of quality we expect, but we will never drop our roamers, our customers, our roamers are a part of our community for life. We will always take care of you. We'll support you if you need things fixed, you need mods. We're here to support you, technical support. We want you to come on the adventures and the rallies. And if you came to that event, you would look at it and you would think, oh, this, these guys are a Black Series dealer, even though we don't even sell Black Series. I don't ever want to drop a manufacturer and we will never drop a roamer. And, and that's just a fact. We may at times have to drop manufacturers because things change, right? Sometimes you can be at the top with good quality and service and sometimes they hire a new CEO, they restaff things and they decide to start making things cheaper and they start putting lower quality products in the trailer. I, I can't support stuff like that. And the way we support it is say, we're no longer going to promote or sell these trailers anymore because I don't want to support. Recently, Taxa is a brand that we carry. They were acquired by a private equity firm. And I thought the, the, the original founder, the owner, NASA guy, really great, really passionate about the brand. Now he's leaving. What's going to happen? Is the quality going to go down the drain? Is everything going to get worse? And so I was really concerned and thinking, I hope this isn't something that we have to, a bridge we have to cross and saying we no longer carry Taxa. That's not been the case. Taxa has gotten better. It's really cool. So sometimes you hire somebody new, a new person acquires a business and they're more passionate about the brand. They bring in a new lens and innovation and, and Taxa's actually gotten better post this acquisition, right? I, we, I like Taxa way more than I did when we first got them. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case with Black Series and we had to part ties. But even though we drop a manufacturer due to quality issues, we don't drop our roamers. Unless there's a big reason. And I'll tell you the reasons is if you're nasty, rude, disrespectful, treating us poorly, then that's kind of like, hey, this is a toxic relationship. I don't care if you bought a trailer from us. We have to go our separate ways. And that happens not very often. Like. Once every five years, we have to say, listen, this is like the way you're treating the team, the staff, swearing, yelling, this is unacceptable. And we have to part ways, but we're not in the business of trying to just break relationships. I want relationships that will last forever. Here at ROA, we have a plan. We always talk about how we have a hundred year plan and how this is going to be a generational company for our kids and our grandchildren to work at because we want to build something great that lasts, that's enduring. And when we're working with a manufacturer that has more of a bottom line orientation and they're just trying to make things cheaper, faster, quicker, and deliver a lot of product into the market, that's not a right alignment with us, right? Because if we're trying to last a hundred years and they're doing things that's going to maybe get them a few years or a decade, that doesn't make sense. We have to go out and reach out to people that have a long-term thinking and taking care of people, not just for the next year or even 10 years, but for a lifetime. Look at Airstream. People literally buy an Airstream and they'll hand it down to their kids and their grandkids. That's the type of manufacturers we want to be with. So hopefully you've enjoyed this rant. It's kind of a little bit different. If you're looking at buying a Black Series, just, you know, if it's an older model, you're probably okay. 
if you if it's one that we sold we typically would spend 20 to 30 hours going through them fixing them pdiing them before they left our facility and those ones are pretty good but some of the later model ones unfortunately the quality wasn't there i wouldn't recommend getting one of those no matter the price i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't take one for free but i might take one for free but you know what i'm saying it, it just wanted to kind of touch a little bit on this topic thank you so much for watching go check out our other live rants or rants slash live rants those come out every thursday first of the month or any we go over tons of topics thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day talk to you later bye bye